Thank you. All right, let's go. Well, as far as uh, the general scope of this, we're almost here to the end of the month. We had us routine for a lot of those guys help with uh, the schedule and with uh, just being effective being out of the gate. Well, I don't know it, necessarily routine, but it's just it's readiness and whatever whatever the schedule brings. Um, you know, whether it's um, you know a regular you know day on day off schedule or or a bunch of games coming at you. So it's. It's the routine of, of being consistently ready to go. Uh, we did a really good job of that two nights ago. We were ready to go at the start of the game. I said we look quick again. Uh, we had great energy, uh, so we want to you know we want to work to to be able to duplicate that here tonight. What's your philosophy and how healthy it is to take a peek at the stands at this time of year? Well, you don't take a peek. You know where you are day in and day out. I mean that's part of what we do. So. Whether you know whether you're on uh, you know in a good spot or you know a spot where it looks a little more uncomfortable, it's it's a reality of knowing where you're at. Uh, everybody knows that, um, and uh, then you know you push that aside, and it's about the job at hand. So it's you know um, you know like I said, it's uh, it's a part of the business that we're in. How uh, most of the season, you guys have been pretty healthy, especially in, the, in you've had almost the same deep pairings. Yeah, with a couple of exceptions for most of the year. How much of a benefit is it to have that consistency? Well, you'd love to have it all the time, but that's not reality. As you go through, you know, we're on the back end of the schedule right now of, uh, you know, since uh, since shortly after Christmas, I think we're I think we're 14 and 25 days. So, the, you know, reality of it is you're not going to have, you know, a fully healthy roster as you go all the way through. That's where, you know, the other night Fleur steps in and, you know, does a solid job. Now, you know, tonight we hope he can come back. He's going to be in the lineup again. You hope he can come back and, um, you know, feel even a little bit more comfortable and, and be a little bit more in rhythm. And so that mean, again, I guess in the show, so any update on Schultz and Schwartz? No, those guys are those guys are out at this point in time um, on a you know on a day to day basis, um, you know, and like I said, with uh, that's that's it for Schwartzy with uh, with Schultz, you'll have more of an update as we get through probably the three day break once we get through today. Burakowski and uh, Winberg, is that maintenance today? Yeah, like I've done with most of the lineup here. Um, you know, I, I'll tell you this: one of those guys I believe will play tonight. The other one will be a, a game time decision, and uh, at the end of the day, we'll you know we'll we'll be ready to play. And last one, uh, Grubauer was first off there, so he's I think he's going to start tonight. Yeah, man, you guys just hammer away on yeah. the lineup side. Does it? <laughs> yeah, Grubby's starting tonight. Starting tonight. What are you looking for from him? He's had some good games. Against play the, the same as he's played. He's given us an opportunity to win each of his last few starts here, and. He's done a really, uh, really nice job. So, you know, we're going to need a real competitive performance from him tonight. He's playing against a former team. Uh, is that way into your decision who the opponent is? And what yeah, the there's always different. Like? There's always different factors, and that's, you know, that's always one that you look at. Um, bottom line is, Grubby's, you know, he's played well. Uh, you know, in his in his previous starts, he's played well against uh, his former team, um, and it's you know, it's it's his night tonight to go. All right. Thanks.